we know that a pretty high percentage of people have experienced domestic violence or intimate partner violence in their lifetimes. Something like a quarter of women and 10 or 11% of men. And so it would be a statistical anomaly if folks who had these experiences were not a part of our communities of faith. So whether we choose to talk about it or address it or not, we are in the presence of survivors of domestic violence or intimate partner violence. When people choose to share their stories with trusted folks, that's part often of the process of healing for people. And so faith communities foster that kind of trust, either with friends, people who share a Bible study together or small groups, or people who are um, clergy or lay leaders in congregations whose role it is to escort people through difficult moments in their lives. And so uh, it's really important, I think, for leaders in congregations or other faith communities to prepare to hear these stories, to, to, to talk about what domestic violence is or intimate partner violence is. And so that leads me to think of Presbyterian minister and childhood TV icon Fred Rogers, who made a practice of talking about all of the human experience because he thought that talking about it gave us the opportunity to address both the harm and the hope in whatever circumstance. So to paraphrase him, if something is mentionable, it's manageable. And so that should put domestic violence and intimate partner violence on the plate of faith communities for conversation, both so that we can work with survivors in our communities to help foster resilience and healing. That's a, a wonderful side effect of participating in faith communities, research shows us, but also so that we can address what may be harmful practices in, in the home or in the community or lead people to other supportive resources.